Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac. Let's take a look at this question. It says, find the integral values which satisfy the inequality. Integral values. So what this is trying to tell you is, find, solve the inequality and get the range of values. Now, this uh, has two inequality signs. It says, minus 2 is lesser than 7 minus 3s and it's lesser than or equal to 10. When you see something like this, draw from the first one, from the beginning to the beginning of the second inequality sign, from here to the beginning. So you write it out, minus 2 lesser than 7 minus 3s. You can call this s. Now, from the end of this first inequality sign, from the end, mark, and draw to the end of the inequality. So you have 7 minus 3s is lesser than or equals 10. You can call this s, s. So you've gotten what you want. So let's solve the two separately. Solving this first one, see if minus 2 is lesser than 7 minus 3s, the first thing we do is collect like terms. So to give us minus 2, so this is 7. So crossing the inequality sign, it becomes minus 7 lesser than minus 3s. Minus 2 minus 7 is minus 9. Because it's like you're owing 2 and you borrowed another 7. You're not owing 9. So minus 9 is lesser than minus 3s. So what we do is we need s, not minus 3s. So let's divide both sides by minus 3. So dividing here by minus 3. And dividing here by minus 3. Minus 3 divided by minus 3 is 1. So we'll be left with s. Minus 3. Minus 9 divided by minus 3. The answer is 3. But in inequality, anytime you divide both sides by a negative sign, this the inequality symbol inverts. So since we divided both sides by a minus minus 3, instead of lesser than, this becomes greater than. So this becomes 3, this becomes s. So we now have 3 is greater than s. We are done with this. For this, 7 minus 3s is lesser than or equals 10. Collecting like term, minus 3s is lesser than or equals 3. So now we, in this inequality, we are still dividing both sides by a negative number. We are dividing by minus 3. So the first thing that happened is, instead of lesser than or equal to, the inequality symbol inverts to become greater than or equal to. So here becomes s, because minus 3 divided by minus 3 is 1, and here becomes minus 1. So if that is the case, we have two values. You say 3 is greater than s. If 3 is greater than s, what does it mean? It means that s is lesser than 3. If I am bigger than you, it means that you are smaller than me, right? So that's what I did here. If s is greater than or equals minus 1, it means that s can either be minus 1, then 0, 1, and 2, because s is lesser than 3. So we start from minus 1 and we end at 2, because s is lesser than 3. So these are the values. So the correct option is option A. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Feel free to check out my previous videos for stuffs that will benefit you. Thank you.